Hey guys, what's up? It's Amanda, and today I have for you something a little different. I've been bringing you some audio, but today I have for you some home theater audio, which just kind of changing the things up a little bit. I was itching to upgrade my TV, and I actually don't want to do that because I have a toddler, and she tends to like try to draw on them with crayons and all that, and I don't want to spend a ton of money on a 4K crazy expensive TV that's huge and awesome and beautiful just to have it kind of <laughs> destroyed, to put it nicely. So I decided to upgrade to the Bose. This is a really simple system. You can plug it in optically. Right here you can see the cable and you plug it into the wall outlet and boom, you're ready to go. And it has some fantastic sound. In fact, I was in Sam's Club and this retails for $450. And I was in Sam's Club and found one for $350. And I was like, awesome, it's 100 bucks cheaper. Well, comes to find out that's the oldest edition it's the solo 10 and i watched some comparisons and actually this one does sound much better and i figured it was worth 100 bucks right here on the top it's telling you don't set your tv off to the left side or to the right side make sure you center it so that the thing is balanced you don't want to take any risks of this falling on somebody or damaging the unit underneath the speakers and just waste all that money that you've spent so if we flip this thing around taking a look at the back side you will notice there are a pair of base ports, a pair of vents, and then the only way to adjust any kind of thing other than volumes is with a base knob, and there's no way to do that in with the remote control. Um, you actually have to manually do it from the back side here. And then just beside that, we have our analog inputs, our optical that goes to your TV, along with a coaxial option. And then there's two data ports, which is a USB, and I don't know, it just says data. I'm not really sure how they connect to that one. And then just beside that, you'll see your power connector. And I will have an audio demo of this at the very end. So if you guys want to hang tight, I'm going to get through these last little things here in the package. First thing we have here is our power cord. There's no brick or anything. It's just your simple power adapter, your red and white cables if you have an older style TV, and then your universal remote, which I actually have that hooked up to my TV, my Xbox, so I can play my game, or not play my games, play my movies and things like that. Um, Netflix and all that kind of stuff. I can control it through my Xbox One, so that's great. And then they do include some batteries here. So I have this thing set up just with my mic that I'm using to do my voiceovers, and I'm going to pretty much send you a raw version of this um, coming from TV, then Bose, and I'll mute back and forth, and I'll display on the screen which is which.